Hi everybody, I'm Mama K, and thanks for tuning in and watching another episode of Mama K's Kitchen Lab. Coming up, we've got our next episode. All right, enough with the introductions. Let's get on with the video and make sure that at the end that you uh, subscribe down below or if you're watching this on Instagram, make sure that you head on over to my YouTube channel so you can watch the entire video and stay tuned for the next episode. So with that said, let's get going. Hey everybody, Mama K here and today in the kitchen lab we are making fermented hot sauce. So I was reading about hot sauce and thinking about all the fermentation things and Hey, let's try some fermented hot sauce, I thought. So that way I can control all the ingredients and it's not just packed down with vinegar, which I love vinegar, don't get me wrong, but I want to try some uh, lacto-fermented for hot sauce here. So we are going to put all of our ingredients together and let this sit and we will have some delicious, hopefully, I'm sure it will be, uh, delicious hot sauce in a couple weeks. So first step is to put all the ingredients together. So let's keep watching and here we go. All right, so I'm gonna talk about what I have ready to go here for my hot sauce concoction. First off, I've got a fermentation vessel that's been nice and cleaned out and been extra sterilized with my SCOBY vinegar liquid stuff. Um, just showing you what I got. Uh, we're gonna uh, be using some guajillo and ancho chilies. Uh, those are the dried ones. Those have actually been soaked, and I've got those kind of ripped up in pieces. I just took the stems off, and we're sitting here draining. I am going to reserve this liquid, and we're going to actually add some of that beautiful dark liquid to this hot sauce mixture. Uh, we've got some garlic, some which has just been mashed, and a little carrot. Uh, this is water that's been uh, mixed in with a uh, sea salt, so that's going to be part of our brine. Uh, some cilantro and some onions. So I've got a mix of some yellow and red onions and some green onions or scallions. Uh, so for our peppers, we just got a nice mix. Uh, this is a little bit, yeah, a little bit more than a pound, but we've got some jalapenos and some red and green and yellow peppers. Uh, so we're gonna get a nice sweet and spicy concoction here. And then we've got a secret ingredient uh, that we'll be talking about in a little bit. We're gonna be taking all these things and adding them to the fermentation vessel and we will have hot sauce. All right, so let's get at it. All right, who's ready to make hot sauce? I know I am. So anyway, we're gonna start with our fermentation vessel. We're gonna take a good handful of this cilantro that I have chopped up and we're gonna shove it in here. We talked a lot about shoving in here in this video. And get that in there. All right, so into that, of course, that's gonna smash down. Uh, what we're going to do is then is add in our onions. So it doesn't really matter what order, but again I've got the green onions and the yellow and the red onions, just for a little mix of everything. I'm going to add all that in here. And in the end all this stuff is going to end up being uh, blended up or put in the food processor. Uh, whatever the choice may be. So it doesn't really matter that they're perfectly cut or anything like that. But we just want to make sure that all the stuff gets put in here. And it is important to mash up the garlic, do a little smash with your knife or whatever. Uh, or you can grate it up if you want. Um, but we'll just make sure that that's smashed to help release all the good, good garlic stuff. Uh, so we're putting that in there. All right. Then uh, we're going to take our little bit of our peppers, not all of the peppers, so I'm going to take some of these other peppers from the bottom here and get these shoved in here. So we're going to make a nice little layer and then we're going to put some more cilantro in a minute. So we'll put those in there. Yes, get all 
those all nice and smashed down. And I will be taking a little tool here in a minute and smashing this down even further. So we got that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add carrots in this layer. And then I'm going to get my pushy tool. All right, I'm back with my pushy tool. So I need to really get this stuff down and smashed in here so this all fits in this jar, which I know that it will because I am determined. Now, I know that it will. So we're gonna get these all nice and smashed down in here. Plus, we're gonna try to get rid of some of these air pockets and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna take some of these nice peppers. So now that they've been soaking for a while, so they rip apart very easily. So we're gonna put some of those in there. Uh, this nice big ancho. We're actually gonna rip this one in half. Throw that in there, just like that. This will actually be a nice base for us to push this down even further. So we're going to keep smashing, and I'm going to keep talking. So who wants to know what the secret ingredient is? And this is not like the secret word or anything like that, so nobody's going to scream. Uh, all you Pee Wee fans out there who just want ha ha ha, thank you for that. Anyway, uh, we're just going to keep smashing this down. So anyway, we're going to talk about the secret ingredient here. Secret ingredient. So another episode. Uh, so before we talked about uh, making fermented apples. So I did a, some fermented spiced sliced apples. So we are actually going to put a couple of these in here. So at this point, we're going to take a couple of these nice apples. We've already got three on the hook here. So let's just take those three and just pop those in here. So those are going to add a little, little extra something to that. Use this fork to smash this stuff down even further. So we are going to get everything in here. And so what's everybody's favorite kind of hot sauce? Leave it in the comments. Tell me, what do you like? I am a avid user of sriracha. That's one of my favorites. Uh, of course, I like Louisiana hot sauce and. Uh, Valentina's uh, for a Mexican style hot sauce. But of course I will try just about anything for hot sauces. So now we got all these kind of mashed down. We're going to do another little mash down in a second. But what we're going to do is take some more of this cilantro and put that in here. I really want all the cilantro in there, but that's good for that. And then I want to make sure that I get these jalapenos in here. Yeah. We are going to have a nice, very full jar. So, as I talked about it in another video, we're going to do this and we're going to go push, 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 push. Please watch the video about miso, making miso, if you want to see the full story about push, 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 push. So put that in there, and I'm going to use a fork again, just for a little bit more of a flattened edge to push this stuff down even further. I get too far. I'm actually going to add a little bit of this brine in right now to help some of that cilantro and stuff that's at the bottom start kind of wilting a little bit so that we can get the rest of the stuff pushed in here pretty well. And then I'm going to add the other hot peppers here that are dried. So we got this other ancho and the other cojigo. Did I just say guajillo? I meant guajillo. That was a total brain fart on my part, so I apologize for that. Ooh, nice. You see all the nice red pepperiness. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this hot peppery liquid in here. 
cards just for fun right now. All right, so put this in here. Smash, 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 smash. It's already taken on nice, good, pretty layering color. We're gonna try to see if we can get any more of these regular peppers in here. Pretty much got all the jalapenos in here. And I wanna make sure we do leave a little bit of headspace in here for when this starts getting all nice and bubbly. But that looks pretty, that looks pretty packed to me. So again, we're gonna keep smashing down here. A little bit. And I'm going to add in, this has uh, some salt in it, so I'm going to make sure that most of this gets in here. And in order to make sure that this gets down in there too, we're going to use our pushy tool and we're going to keep smashing it just to make sure. And we're going to go, this is going to, what I'm doing is taking this and going along, along the edges. And that actually might end up giving us some more room here to add the rest of these peppers in. But you can use just about a, roughly a pound of peppers, uh, mix and mash your peppers. So if you wanted a really, really, really mild spicy or mild, mild spice uh, sort of thing, um, you could add more regular peppers and less hot peppers. Uh, and conversely, if you wanted to have a lot of hotness to this, a lot of spiciness to this, you could add more hot peppers um, and you can even use a different variety of peppers right now just what I had on hand is this uh, but maybe in another episode we'll do a different version of this maybe we'll add some other types of peppers maybe some banana peppers or something else uh, maybe some habaneros which I like a lot if I can find some scotch bonnets, that might be fun. Those are sometimes very difficult to find here. Uh, living in Iowa, and some of the more rare to find uh, things are sometimes difficult. Uh, but it's okay. We work with what we've got. And also I know that there's some, of, uh, some supply stuff uh, with the pandemic happening. There's some things that are just even more difficult to get than usual. So... Now I think we've got all this liquid in here. So now you can see all that nice red liquid is pretty much all the way down at the bottom. So then we want to add in the rest of our brine here. And you can't see it, but it, it's going in here. It's kind of going gurgle, 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 which is the fun part of doing something like this is to get everything to go all the way down. So again, we're going to just do this a little bit to kind of mix this in. And this is, uh, this is the kind of video that I want to do where you can see all the hard, hard work that goes into this rather than uh, do some chopped out video. Uh, for you so you can actually see me pushing this around and doing this so We're not going to do magic of video. Well, we will do magic of video when it comes to checking on this in about a week or so so you can see what the results look like, but We are not going to do Do the video where I stop it and then all of a sudden magically everything's in the jar because that's kind of boring because really there's not a whole lot to this one except cutting up the stuff, putting it in the jar, and pushing it down to make sure that it's all submerged under the liquid. So you can already see how nice and dark that is and this is going to be pretty darn tasty. And I just want to make sure that I've got this in here. I want to make sure I've got as much brine in there as possible. So this is also squishing up some of those dried peppers that were soaked. So that's where a lot of this beautiful color is coming from. All right, so here we go. So 
we can't just put it a little bit in there. Yes, okay. All right, so there you have it. This is gonna be hot sauce, and I think it's gonna be pretty delicious. So this is gonna be nice and sort of a sweet and spicy at the same time. Uh, take off these gloves. So you can use gloves or not. Uh, it's up to you, your choice. Uh, it does avoid staining, uh, but if you're like me, sometimes the oils and jalapenos and things like that uh, really irritate my skin. So I have to, I'm one of those people that I have to use gloves when I'm cutting this stuff up. No, uh, no matter how long I've been a chef, that's just, uh, that's how it rolls with me. Uh, same thing with onions. Cutting up onions always makes me cry. So don't feel bad if the onions always make you cry. I've been doing this for a long time and onions still bother me. So there's some things that just happens. Uh, your bodies are just like that. So anyway, back to the hot sauce. So this is, again, the cilantro, the peppers, the dried peppers, and my secret ingredient of the spice fermented apples, uh, carrots, shallots, garlic, and a little bit of salt that's, uh, that was in that salt water brine, uh, and that went in there. And that's it. Um, and then we also did use a little bit of that beautiful liquid uh, from the peppers. And I'm probably gonna hold on to that and I might make something else with the with it this week in the kitchen. I uh, haven't decided yet. It'll be to be determined. I know I've got a bunch of seeds in here too, so I might throw those in there and make something with that. I haven't decided yet, so we'll see. Anyway, that's it. So, hot sauce. Cheers. Ah, just kidding. Anyway, uh, we'll check in again on this in about a week and see how things are looking. Uh, what I'll be looking for is just to see if there's any bubbles pop popping up. Um, and then hopefully in a week or so, we'll be ready to take this out, dump it in the food processor or blender. Um, as in my case, we'll be using the blender because my core food processor wah, 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 bit the dust uh, a few weeks ago. Maybe even longer than that. I don't know. It's been a little bit. I'm so grieved about it that I can't even remember how long it's been. I'm trying to put it out of my mind because it makes my heart hurt. Anyway, so anyway, uh, yeah, we'll be throwing this in the blender. Uh, and to that, we will probably add some more cilantro, uh, depending on what I feel like, and then some lime juice. And then if it needs a little bit more salt, we can add it that time. Uh, but again, so this is going to be a lacto-fermented hot sauce. Uh, so there's no vinegar being added to this. The only acid will be after this is all done when we are blending it all up. And that's that. This recipe is uh, actually pretty simple. And we'll see how it turns out in a week or so. So we'll be back uh, in about a week. So stay tuned. All right, so here we have the hot sauce. Uh, this has been sitting and fermenting for about a week, and we're just gonna check it, and I have been checking it over the course of the week, having to take out some of that liquid, which I have saved, uh, but it's still a pretty beautiful color. Uh, you can see the cilantro in the bottom is starting to lose some of its green. Um, it's definitely doing some magic fermenting things. Uh, we're going to just take the lid off here and take a look at what it looks like on the inside. Up there. See all those nice bubbles and everything? Oh, there we go. It's definitely alive. It's doing some fun things. See all that nice color in there from all the stuff? It's doing some good stuff. And just being this far away from it, uh, if you could just smell this, if this was smell-o-vision, it'd be like, oh yeah. You can smell the fermenting everything, uh, the, all the nice chili peppers that are in there, all the stuff that we used. Uh, it has such a wonderful, almost earthy smell. Uh, but oh, I'm just enjoying watching these bubbles. So there you have it. That's what it looks like right now. Um, we're probably going to let this go for a few more days. Keep checking in on it and see how it goes. And then we'll transform it into the final hot sauce. 
did want to also take a quick look here. I wanted to just pull this up here so you can see all the beautiful bubbles and all that nice liquid that's in here. Oh, there's some seeds from the chili peppers. Some right there. Kind of give this a little poke. Kind of see what happens here. Oh yeah. This is going to be some good hot sauce, everybody. I can't wait to try this. I uh, have done a little little quality control taste tests uh, in the, some of the liquid that I've taken out of here. and It's uh, super delicious already. It definitely has some of the smokiness from some of those dried chili peppers that we put in there. The anchos and the guajillos. Um, but yeah, this is going to be really good. I can't wait. All right, we'll see you in a few days. Hey everybody, Mama K here, and we are at a couple weeks of the hot sauce sitting around and doing its magical thing. Uh, I'm gonna check it out here. And it's been bubbly, and we're gonna get a shot here in a second of uh, what it looks like inside, but there's just all kinds of nice bubbling happen. Uh, but the next step of this is we're going to take this and we're going to save out some of the liquid and we're going to put it into the blender. Give it a nice little puree, add some of the liquid if needed. Uh, we're also going to add a little bit of lime juice and we're going to adjust some salt from there. So let's get going. All right, so here is what the hot sauce is looking like right now. Uh, you can see all these nice seeds. I'm going to push this around a little bit. Uh, look at all that nice, beautiful liquid in there. And this just smells so amazing. Oh, yeah. You can tell, like, the smoky flavor from some of those smoky peppers that I did. And I'm going to be giving it a taste here in a second. Uh, what we got up close. All those nice hand out of the way here. <laughs> all those nice colors. You can see all the stuff. All that nice liquid at the bottom. Uh, this is going to be super duper delicious. Oh, there's some bubbles that are popping up there. Say hello. It's quite alive. All right. Just a little taste here. There's nice big chunks of peppers in there, so I'm just really just going to taste uh, the liquid here. Mm, that's got a nice even burn, but it's also very rich and deep and multi-layer of flavors because we've got all those different kinds of peppers and all the stuff in there. So that's going to be super duper delicious. And we're going to be adding the lime juice and a little bit of salt to this. Uh, but first what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we are going to dump it out in the strain this here. So, with a little bit of balance, we'll be able to take care of this. And try not to get it all over the counter. But I'm not going to dump the entire thing into this little strainer. I'm just trying to reserve as much of this liquid as I can out of here. So that the majority of the liquid is going to be saved in this little container. Um, and then we will be adding a little bit of that back in just to get the consistency exactly where we would like it to be. Which for a hot sauce is, you know, a little a little thicker but not, uh, not too thick and uh, not too thin. So as with the three bears, just right. Alright, so... Cilantro is just hanging out there. All right. So if you've seen another video of mine, uh, I talked about my, my poor food processor. Uh, may it rest in peace. So we're going to be using the blender here. So we're going to just take this stuff and get it into the blender. Take all this stuff out of here. Everything in there. Take that and put it in 
there. Yes. Getting things out of the jar. 101. Just need to make sure you got a nice a nice uh, silicone spoon or a spatula. In my case, I've got my special holiday spoon that I got from someone special to me. And we got all this nice Make it get closer here. Oh yeah, look at all that nice liquid. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put a little of that liquid in now because I know that we're gonna need it. And we're done with the strainer. So the next step is to take this and we're gonna give it a nice good blend, and we'll get everything all mixed together. Uh, Got to get this lime juice in here too. So we don't want to add too much of this because we added this lime juice because uh, the lime juice is going to be really important for my batch of hot sauce. So. so I've got this all nice and blended. I wanted to get a little up close but we'll get the, the camera over there so that you can see it up close and with a better view. All right, so here's your nice up close and personal view. This is the consistency that I would like. So somewhere between sriracha and ketchup, thicker than gochujang, but I want a, a nice consistency pretty much like that. So it's runny enough. Uh, I can put it in a squirt bottle with a nice little opening lid uh, or I can just put it in a little container and be able to spoon it out as I need it as I need to so there we go up close and personal this is our hot sauce so we're just gonna put it in a jar and you can see it's like a really thin milkshake almost beautiful thing is that I can take this and put it in the fridge and it should keep for quite a while. Probably won't last that long, but uh, it'll be good for quite a while because it's fermented and everything is all good to go. Um, and I don't know if you can hear it on the video, but I have a couple of new additions to my household and uh, they sound like little squeaky toys. So Cat Mama uh, has three, three new little boys. So if you want to Check that pictures out. I've got some on, all over on my Instagram page. Uh, you can see those, my uh, little black cat, squeaky toys. Uh, I think he actually stopped meowing, of course, when I was talking about it. So, anyway, my three little boys added to the, the household. So, there we have it hot sauce from beginning to end, uh, fermented hot sauce. So, uh, the vinegary taste is simply from the production of uh, the fermentation, the lacto-fermentation on this. Um, and all in all, this took a couple weeks. Uh, so, there we go. Hot sauce. Uh, and before I close out, you might ask, thanks for asking. I'm sure that you want to know the burning question in your head. What happens if there's not enough liquid? Well, first thing I'm going to do is when we started the beginning of the video, when we soaked those chili peppers, the dried chili peppers. Uh, I saved uh, the liquid. So that's going to be, besides the liquid that the everything was fermenting in, this is going to be my first addition. And then the lime juice, of course. And then the second addition, if I need to add anything else, is that I'm using some uh, purified water. So if I have to add anything else to it, then the purified water. And in this batch, I did need to add a little bit because I wanted to save some of this for another another concoction that I am making so I didn't want to use all of it uh, so I did add some purified water to this so that adds another uh, layer of flavors with the the uh, chili the chili water basically um, plus all the other things so there you go and uh, cheers to the hot sauce and we'll come up with another batch of that I'm sure soon so 
with that said, hot sauce is wrapped up for now. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. And if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure you hop over to my Instagram page and follow and like me over there. Check out some of the pictures, some of the mini videos that I have. If you are watching this on Instagram, make sure that you hop over to YouTube and like and subscribe to the channel. And so you can make sure that you keep up on all the content that I'm posting. So if you have any suggestions, special requests, anything like that, make sure you leave it in the comments. Uh, things you'd like to see me ferment or make or anything like that. Uh, I'm also, you know, can answer questions. And that's it. So thanks for watching and we will see you next time. If you liked that video, make sure that you subscribe down below. And if you're watching this on Instagram, make sure that you head over to my YouTube channel so you can watch the entire video. Anyway, have a great day and thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.